comment down below if you think a top load washer or a front load washer is better. The majority of people that watch my channel are not subscribed. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos and hit that thumbs up. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrow, your host, and today we're installing a Speed Queen washing machine. Ain't that right, Lily? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step, uh, the process of what you need to do to pull the old washing machine out. See, we have a Speed Queen dryer already installed this one. We're gonna disconnect the hot and cold, the drain, pull this puppy out, throw it out the door. Wait a minute, watch out! You're gonna get hit, oh my God! I'm just kidding. Um, and then we're gonna install the new Speed Queen washing machine. We're tired of spending the same amount of money on a similar product only for it to last half that time. Ain't that right, Birdie? That's right. We went with top load uh, washer instead of the front load washer like this one. Uh, this has been a decent unit, this Whirlpool, but it's been coating as of lately. It'll pop up a thing right here and it'll go ding, ding, ding. And then we'll have to shut it off, turn it back on, and then it'll start. Um, it's taken up to a couple hours to do a load of laundry, which should only take like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour or whatever. Not like heavy duty stuff, just normal sheets or towels or whatever. Uh, the, our dryer, which was the same uh, unit as this one, the Whirlpool Duet, it started throwing a code, uh, fixed it once, and then it threw a code again, and I just decided to go ahead and get a new one, and Bertie and I did a bunch of research on it, more so Bertie than I. We decided that uh, Speed Queen was the, the way to go. This is not a paid sponsorship by Speed Queen, although they can throw some money my way if they'd like. <laughs> Right, Birdie? That's right. <laughs> so, uh, some tools you might need for this is a pair of channel locks. And that's pretty much about it. Oh, I'll put a link down in the uh, description to Amazon where you can buy channel locks or even some hoses, uh, like a washing machine hose that you can use on this unit. After you get your unit pulled out, remember, the washing machine is the heavy one, so it may take two people to get it moved out, just depending on your strength. Um, go ahead and shut your hot and cold water off. These are the new style washing machine box and all that. You may have this style, which is like the old style washing machine box with this big handle on it. If you need to, get a pair of channel locks grab this and turn it because chances are it might be stuck uh, calciumed up and it could be very hard to turn that handle so that will uh, uh, hopefully get it you can get it closed if not you may have to go out to the street and shut the water meter off or the well depending on where you live step number one make sure to unplug your unit <laughs> as I've already started on everything Go ahead and take the drain out of the hole. Birdie's over here talking smack. <laughs> I I implore you to try to get the washing machine out by yourself. Well, I did the dryer. The dryer's like... Go me. I mean, the dryer was good. Oh, so you're going to belittle me, huh? Especially for a female. Mm, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag me too. Get a helper to get the old unit out and the new unit in. Right, Bernie? Am I the old unit or the new unit? <laughs> You're the helper. Oh, okay, just clarify. And the prettiest one in all the land. All right, we got the unit over there. Now we're gonna get that unit and bring it in here. Remove this brace before use. So you know that Maybe this could double as like a bedpan. You need that? You could take it on your, your trips. Is this good enough for Eric? Flip it up. <laughs> 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 Eric, Eric doesn't like round. Is it kind of 
Oh. Be elongated. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she's she's burning on Eric right now. I'm burning on Eric. I'm Ooh. Real. For reals. Go ahead and install the hot and cold hoses onto the washing machine. Does it matter which one goes to which? Um, this no. One, this one says C for cold. I know, but some of them have like red and blue markings on them. And I had these hooked up a certain way, so I just put them back the same way they were. Okay. Let me have that one, Birdie. I'm just asking what all the people want to know. Uh -huh. Is there a difference? Uh-huh. Sometimes there is a difference. How do you know what is? Because it it'll say H or C on it, or it'll have red or blue. In the cord yeah. or the hose? Either, either, either. Uh, I think there's certain, like the rubber makeup may be different on oh. some of them. Oh, that's what I was wondering. So, if it has identification for one or the other then I would definitely go by the recommendation of the manufacturer don't just go by what I'm saying because right. she never does right. snug them up a little bit not too terribly much because it does have a gasket you can't cut the gasket well that's because you're just so strong I would just go a smidge past hand tight all right so next is going to be your washing machine box side get the hoses hooked up if your washing machine is old and you've got the original hoses that were used on that one i would definitely recommend getting new hoses these hoses are only about a year old i got these hoses um when we moved from our old house to this house. And so I updated the hoses then. You got the hot and cold hooked up. Go ahead and turn your valves on. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Insert your drain. And then we push it back. You ready? take up so much less space. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Why the other ones take up so much space? I think they were, I don't know. I guess they were just deeper. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tilt it back so we can put these rubber grommets on. Can you help me? Mm -hmm. So this rubber grommet goes on the feet. See, it's got a little deal in the middle slides on that and just pushes up on there and do the other three whoa, whoa, whoa. don't push it too far back i like them to design up all right so i've got a couple gallons worth of water here and you're supposed to fill the drum with a little bit of water before you plug it in and start a cycle. Now that you got everything hooked up and if you have checked for leaks, go ahead and plug it in. Okay, and we're gonna run one complete cycle empty. So it's ready to go. While this thing is running water through it, you just run your finger down here on these. You, you can actually see water. Now that's a marker, but um, go through and then check down here on these ones down here. Just make sure you don't have any leaks. I think that's residual. See how that shined on my finger like that? Might be residual, but I'll I'll go ahead and. I'll continue to check that as this thing is running. It is critical to use a level on the front and both sides to make sure that this unit is level. If it senses it is not level, 
we'll throw an error code. So make sure that you get in between the lines when you're setting it up and uh, adjust the feet before it gets filled with water. Because when it gets filled with water, it's going to be a lot heavier to adjust. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Bird Adventures. Do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram at Texas Bird Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of care stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies. I always recommend having a beautiful helper to help with uh, stuff that you're too big and strong and manly to get to. <laughs> <laughs>